This is pegboard, specifically it's metal pegboard and it's pegboard that I kind of sort of mounted here when I first built the workshop just under two years ago. I've also got some pegboard here and while this one is mounted properly and there is a video of me trying to get this up there if you're interested in watching that, it's still not ideal in its layout, its use or its efficiency. For the most part, pegboard works just fine. And as long as all you wanna do is hang some tools on the wall, then pegboard can be a perfectly cheap and accessible way to do that. But there's a reason why I think that you don't see a lot of pegboard in workshops and it comes down to probably a few factors. The biggest and probably number one reason we don't see it is because we don't wanna just be able to hang our tools. Sometimes we wanna display them or sometimes we want to mount them in a way that is convenient and makes sense. And largely for that reason alone, that's probably why most people tend to go towards using French cleat type systems or any other integrated system that allows a little bit more flexibility or modularity to how they mount their tools to the wall. So traditionally we would be limited to whatever accessories or adapters or hooks that we could find from, you know, Bunnings or our local big box store that would suit pegboard. And half the time those accessories aren't even really geared towards workshops, they're geared towards garages and garage storage. But we live in an age where we have access to things like CNC's, laser cutters, 3D printers, all of these type of things that we can use in order to customize and make our own accessories. And that's what I want to achieve in this video. Can I come up with my own system that works with my metal pegboard that will allow me to more efficiently mount the tools I do have and possibly make room for ones that I don't own yet. Because really, how hard can it be? Well, Jeremy, let's find out. Time to cue the music. In today's episode, I measured twice and cut four times. And that grunting is a surefire way to make sure something fits. <laughs> so before we get stuck into making any attachment accessories, I'm first going to have to mount the pegboard next to the table saw properly. The frame of this is going to be made up of strips of form ply and I'll rip those from this three quarter panel that I've been saving for this project. If you're going to work with a lot of sheet goods and don't own a track saw, then I recommend considering getting yourself one of these Craig rip cut guides. Now they won't necessarily give you the greatest accuracy, but they will allow you to process large panels down to more manageable sizes consistently that you can then clean up on things like a table saw. I 
thought removing the pegboard would be the most difficult challenge to overcome here and that this was supposed to be a simple, quick build. I was wrong. Right, so it doesn't fit. What's the uh, saying? Ambitious but rubbish. I used dimensions from plans I had for that one. Should be exactly the same panel. But for some unknown reason, maybe because of my math. It was 100% because of my math. Probably because of my math. I've cut it this much too short. Be one thing if this one was too long, we can shorten that. But now we're out by, I don't know, that much. So, do I just cut this? I don't really have a means to cut it. Or do I somehow fix this? I guess the answer is we've got to somehow fix this. So after that stuff up, the solution to fix my mistake was to remake the frame all over again. After correcting that mistake, I attached the pegboard to the frame with some screws and began the process of mounting this to the wall. This was done with both dignity and finesse. But in the end, we got it up there and secured to the shed. So the tool that we're going to turn to in order to make the accessories for our pegboard is of course a laser. And then today we're not going to just use any laser, we're specifically going to use this. The Creality, Cre Creality? Creality. The Creality Falcon 2 Pro 40 Watt Laser. Late last year I had the opportunity to begin learning a little bit about lasers and understand how they can be used in the shop. If you're interested in learning a little bit about the world of lasers, maybe specifically from the perspective of someone who has never touched a laser and doesn't really know much about them, then consider watching this video where I basically go through that process of learning about lasers for the very first time. So onto assembly. Now I'm not going to bore you with the details of the process, it's pretty self-explanatory and given that this unit is already about 80% assembled out of the box, I had it fully completed in less than an hour. So there you have it, a fully assembled Creality Falcon 2 Pro. Now credit to Creality, they have said, look, we're not interested in you reviewing it. We're not interested in you in saying anything specific about it, but we are very interested in you making some very cool stuff with it. And of course, I need no further encouragement in that area. But what I will do during the process is probably point out some of the features or functionality that I think make this a unique proposition especially for those who already own a laser and are maybe looking for that next step in their laser journey. Because for me, I think there's a number of features on here already that are likely going to result in me replacing my existing laser. So with all of that said, I think the next thing to do is start thinking about the accessories and adapters that we're gonna make for our pegboard and start uh, you know, putting that into Lightburn. For the next week or so, I played around in Lightburn and experimented with different types of potential solutions in geometry on how these accessories would physically attach to the pegboard. It took some trial and error, but I eventually came up with a hook solution that seemed to work well and was quite strong. From that basic hook solution, I could make all sorts of attachments, hooks or adapters that would slot into the pegboard. If you're interested in making your own accessories or perhaps modifying any of my designs to suit your own needs, then I'll be providing my light burn files for free. Check out the description for details on where you can download a copy and be sure to let me know if you make something cool out of them. Before we go ahead and laser the accessories for the pegboard, I wanted to take a moment to thank my newest channel members, Noel and Keith. Thank you so much for your support, it means a great deal to me, and I can't think of a better way to demonstrate some of the engraving capabilities of the Falcon 2 Pro than making sure we get your coasters up on the pegboard ASAP. So let's go ahead and do that now. So the first thing that we're going to need is some coasters, and as you can see, I'm running dangerously low. So, you know, better get in quick if you want to become a channel member.
If you're interested in understanding why I have so many of these, well, go and watch the video in regards to my ducting system that I made, almost exclusively using the laser. So, Noel and Keith, let's grab some coasters and get engraving. So back in the workshop I fired up the Creality and got started cutting out the pegboard brackets. I want to use up as much scrap and offcuts as I can and there is a really cool feature of the Falcon 2 Pro that's really going to help me yield as much out of these scraps as possible. So one of the really cool features of the Creality Falcon 2 Pro is the camera and I'll explain why the camera for me is a bit of a game changer because previously when I wanted to lay out uh, whatever I was cutting onto a piece of you know wood whatever it might be um, I'd have to use a lot of framing and framing is just a way of you know passing the laser the light over the wood so that you can kind of see the path that the laser is going to take when it cuts and getting that just right so that you're maximizing the yield of the wood that you're trying to use is really tricky sometimes so having a camera that takes a snapshot of the wood as it's sitting in uh, the enclosure is really cool because it means that no matter what other stuff I've lasered in the past, etc., I can overlay what I want to cut over the timber and it will cut exactly in that spot. So no more guessing or no more trying to nudge, you know, um, pieces into position. I can explicitly overlay it um, over the workpiece and see where it's exactly going to cut. And if we have a look, I've just cut that job there. So if I quickly, oh, with one hand, So as you can see, it has exactly cut where I've told it to. So the camera, really cool feature, something if you are in the market for an upgrade, this is one of the must have upgrades when it comes to lasers. Okay, we've been very busy lasering away and making our brackets for our pegboard. In fact, we're still lasering, you can hear it in the background there. But we've got a whole bunch of brackets that are ready to go up on the wall and I've specifically designed them for a bunch of the table saw accessories that you see here. So one of my pain points is that the data stack lives somewhere else in the workshop and every time I need to get it out I have to go through the stack of data. So it would be good to be able to have them out up on the pegboard just ready to go with the different sizes so that I can just quickly grab the necessary blades and put them into the table saw. And that of course also extends to some of the other accessories like the push sticks, um, some of the other blades that I have, the other clamps and accessories that go all with the table saw. So it'll be good to have them all up on there and I think I'm ready to go ahead and do that. Well, there we have the final product and to be honest with you, it's an incredible difference. So this is going to make things so much easier when I'm working with the table saw. So 
Everything is easily accessible. All my dado blades are easy to retrieve. My shims, my other blades, um, some of the other table saw accessories. Um, the push sticks are really quick to grab. So that's extraordinarily helpful. And yeah, just the layout is, um, well, I mean, it's way more efficient. So um, really happy with how this has come out. So I'm really looking forward to now. Let's do that side. So there you have it, a fully customized pegboard solution for my workshop using the Creality Falcon 2 Pro. Now was this the most exciting workshop project that I've ever done? Well, probably not. But in terms of the end result, I have to say it's probably one of my most satisfying ever. There's just something really satisfying about seeing your tools laid out in a specific way as if they were built or made to live in that exact spot. And that really gives me the warm and fuzzies and walking into the workshop makes it that much more enjoyable. So have we reinvented pegboard? No, we haven't reinvented pegboard. If anything, we've kind of reaffirmed what pegboard's really good at, and that's hanging things. But what I think we have answered is that in this world of 3D printers, um, CNCs, lasers, that they have become very accessible and you don't need a master's degree to be able to get good results like this. I certainly don't consider myself a genius when it comes to this stuff. I've only been doing it since the end of last year. And reality is, is that if I can, you can too. And with the price of these devices coming down constantly, then they're more accessible and more available to the average person more than ever. And I think as a tool in the workshop, it can't be overlooked to how useful they can be. Almost everything that you see here has had some sort of touch, reach or influence with my laser. Now, speaking of lasers, we haven't actually spent a lot of time talking about the Creality Falcon 2 Pro laser, and that's a little bit deliberate because I'm wanting to save some of the more uh, specific details about this laser in a future video. So if you're specifically interested in learning about the laser itself, then hold out for a future video coming soon where I'll go into this in a bit more detail. I will, of course, leave some details in the description below if you'd like to have a look at this on your own. But I can say wholeheartedly as an upgrade over my previous laser that uh, it's definitely ticking all the boxes so far. So stay tuned for part two coming very soon. Thanks for watching and I'll see you on the next one. The Creality, 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 Creality. The Creality Falcon F, Falcon? Yeah. The Creality Falcon 2 Pro 40 Watt Laser.